Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is an expensive video, okay, because I'm basically going to show you everything I have bought for year 13. My hair is super bad because it is pouring down my brain and yeah, just please ignore. I'm going to highlight what's essential and what's not essential because I've bought a lot and <laughs> to put it this way, not all of it is necessary but I'm a bit extra, I guess. I bought a planner so I think definitely you need a planner because how many times have I seen people take pictures of the homework written on like the whiteboard and they never look at that picture again <laughs> so just to keep organized so this is my planner of year 12 obviously skinnier um, each one was three pounds. They're both from the works. The works do the best cheapest planner So I'm gonna show you what a spread last year would look like Yeah, so I used to add sticky notes in and some weeks would get very chaotic Like this so that's why I decided to go for this one as um, Each weekday has a full page and then the weekend has half a page each and I just think this will work for me better as I like to properly schedule my days. A slight essential, pens. So lots of my stationery from last year still works so I'm not gonna buy a new calculator, a new ruler, a new... my pencils, they've all still got lead in them because I use mechanical. Uh, my pencil case is fine, I'm not getting any new things of that. My highlighters, although they're running out, they will last so all I got was another pack of pens. I use these ones and I have like a little pencil grip thing that I just put on the pen that I'm using just to make them more comfy but you write so much that there's not really much point buying expensive pens because they're just going to run out like instantly and at least those they last about like three weeks a pen which decent. I got these in the works by the way because that's where I found them for £3 but I think they're cheaper in Wilco but I didn't go to Wilco. So the next essential people don't often realise so I walked into year 12 with a little notebook you know 200 pages in it <laughs> gone within two weeks. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> You go through so much paper, okay, especially if you do maths. Oh my god, each exercise takes up like five or six pages of paper, so definitely. <laughs> this should last me until about November, if I'm lucky, okay. Just let that sink in. Four, no, three pads of 400 pages, so we got 1200 pages right here, and it'll last me to about November, and then buy three of these again these are my favorite paper the, the quality is so good it doesn't rip which is important in folders and yeah so each one was 5.99 but in the three for two deal at wh smiths so like it was 12 pound for three so it works out about four pound each bit expensive but a pound per hundred pages obviously you can get cheaper your paper's decent i just really like this paper to write on so that's why I chose it so a little bit of backstory for this next one we're going to be talking about folders now lots of people on YouTube recommend having subject folders that you keep in the house and day folders I tried the day folder method for about a month in sick form and I hated it I always felt like my day folder like was really big and it was actually getting quite chunky because in maths and fifth maths you can't really judge how much you're going to get done each lesson and that's because in my college we weren't given handouts at the start of the year we were given a stack of paper you know roughly this size with all the notes for the year and i just found it so much easier just to bring in lever arch folders day folder didn't work for me so just putting that out there i'd say try it but if it doesn't work it doesn't work okay there's no harm in lugging around subject folders <laughs> which is what i do so last year <laughs> i bought four folders so i was like okay i'm gonna do four a levels let's buy a subject a folder for each subject and a day folder biggest mistake of my life i walked into maths on my first day of college and my teacher was like you need four 
lever arch folders for maths you need four fur for maths and i was like what so i had to panic buy a bunch of lever arch folders and it's true i mean so in fifth maths i use three lever arch folders in my first year in maths i use three lever arch folders and one ring binder and in physics i used i didn't use any because we had like booklets that's another thing if you get booklets obviously you won't really need lever arch folders but you might want them to organize your revision up to you computer science didn't use them for so it was mainly just maths really <laughs> maths so this year i've gone with a slightly different approach so i've got enough folders for each subject now i've kind of taken on board last year and yes so we have this polka dot this is a ring binder currently in use it's got my natural sciences admissions test stuff in which is what it's going to be used for i think this this is from wilco and i like i like polka dots really uh this was like i have a two pound or two pound fifty this is the next one i love it it's super cute i absolutely love the design on the front so cute and this is from wh smiths um it was 3.99 which is quite expensive but i really really love the pattern that's going to be used for physics this is like my favorite folder of them all we have another little ring binder it's got cats all over it and it's purple okay my favorite color is purple and i love cats this was three pound from the works so i definitely go check that out i love the color so this is also for physics seven lever arch folders and i don't know if that's one too many but at least i got one spare for the house okay so all but one of these is from w smith's and these were expensive okay these were such a splurge i'd say if you want good quality folders the ones i used last year were the wh smiths um but they were the solid color ones and they're in the three for two these weren't so they were obviously more expensive they were 6.99 per folder or 5.99 i can't remember <laughs> but i treated myself because last year i found it so boring i had all these colors and i just wanted the brightest most bold patterns i could find and that's really hard to do folders hence why this one's one of my favorites because that pattern is amazing <laughs> lovely little marble effect i love the fact that it comes with these because then they don't open and crumble all your paper the inside is just like a little lilac purple pink oh no it's folder number one I'm definitely gonna use this folder for maths um also from the roots most the inside screams happiness and when you're in maths you do start feeling a bit depressed so having some happiness will do some good my favorite wh smith um lever arch folder it's so pretty i love it the inside is a light pink i think it's so pretty that's why i like it so much lame one it's like brush strokes pink still cute the inside's purple also got the elastic probably gonna be used for maths because it has a yellow inside <laughs> i love this one i love polka dots and i love the fact that the elastic is yellow as well because you wouldn't expect that but it obviously makes so much more sense when you open it and this is a brighter yellow i think now this one had some mixed opinions so it's pink and it has like almost a leopard print on it it's super shiny and the inside is black and i quite like it i mean I actually kind of really like it but it's definitely had some mixed opinions which I was honestly quite surprised about this last folder so I love it look at the pattern it's got butterflies bees flowers plants the inside hit or miss is gingham but I think it's okay so this has got a square side all the others had like roll banded sides so it's, it's so cute though i just love the bees so this was actually seven pound it's from paper chase which is definitely a splurge but i saw this and i could not resist the pattern but honestly that's just for aesthetics as long as you get folders that work they're fine 
Now, when you have so, so many folders, you're gonna need a lot of folder dividers. <laughs> yeah, um, these were, I got these in a sale, right, because they used to be eight pound each, which is ridiculous for a folder divider, right? Um, but they reduced to five pound each, and even that's like quite bad, but they were in the free for two, so it was 30 pound for nine, just over three pound each not unnecessary just for me i love organization everything has to be in order so i talked about earlier how quite a lot of my stuff from last year i'm reusing so i'm just gonna put, make like a little list of stuff that i got which i'm not getting again because obviously it still works probably my most expensive purchase was this an ipad 5 iPad Air 5, yeah, in all its glory. Um, I bought a Logitech case of it, so it's got a keyboard, I got a pencil, and why did I buy this? My laptop is massive, and I used my laptop nearly every single day. Um, my laptop's amazing, I, I did all my coding on there, all my EPQ, like all the like lo lots of typey stuff. When it came to revising, I used so much paper and it got to the point where it was ridiculous the amount of paper I went through. Like one of those pads I showed you earlier, I got through in a week at one point. I just all this paper, I didn't want to throw it out because it had revision on it and I might need it. But then I also was like, this is such a waste, have I just like killed like a million trees? So I'm editing this video and I thought I would show you how much paper and basically all the work I did in year 12. So this is my box full of Lubarach folders. This is all of my sorted stuff. So this contains maths, a bit of maths, a bit of physics, a bit of computer science, but mainly just maths and bit of maths so I can remember. This is maths, this is maths, this is maths, this is maths, and then these three are bit maths. That one I think is um, physics and computer science. But, we also have this lovely stack of paper, which I couldn't fit in the box. It's a lot of paper, lots of it I don't know what to do with. I'm kind of trying to show you why I got an iPad, because I just think that's an obscene amount of paper. Lots of it's due to revision and redoing exercises, so if I do that all digitally, Hopefully next year I will have a smaller box. In class, I'm going to be using paper, pen, and the handouts. But when it comes to any revision, I'm going to do that digitally to try and cut down on the amount of paper I, I use. Definitely not an essential, okay? I'm just showing you everything I bought for A-levels and that's, I bought that. Hello, so this is me just showing you an example. So the flick through I'm doing now is one uh, lesson of work that I've done on paper. So we've got the theory, examples, all the exercise questions. And as you can see, there is a lot of paper used in just one lesson alone. So this is the last page and then from here I take all of this and I put it on my iPad in one page as a revision summary. Then to revise I use this website called Integral and I do the exercise questions, I look at their recaps, their examples and it's just honestly so good. It really does help. And yeah, that's just showing you the process. Pretty sure that is everything. Um, one thing I will highlight, get the calculator you need before you start A-levels. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please let me know if there is anything else you'd like me to talk about relating to um, sit form college A-levels. So obviously I go to a college but I can explain why I prefer it over, say, going to a sit form, if that's what any of you guys are interested in. See you guys next time.
Bye.